Hello my friends, today we have another book review. This one's again from Sam Publications. This one's on the uh, Douglas A1 Sky Raider. Let's get into it. This is number 33 issue. Not on book number, uh, issue number 33. So just the same as before, we have the index and stuff. A little bit of history on the Sky Raider. Uh, this part here is the predecessor to the Sky Raider. Um, so basically this aircraft was known as Douglas XBT-21. It's the uh, predecessor um, to the uh, Sky Raider, which is pretty cool. Um, so it's early version prototypes and whatever. Um, a quick, quick breakdown on this aircraft, what it's got in the book here. We have engine, one cylinder, it's a uh, R3350 duplex cylinder, 18 cylinder, what that means, air cooled radial engine, uh, 2500 horsepower, at takeoff it's 2200 horsepower at 11,000 feet, maximum speed of 375 miles an hour at 13,000 feet, 357 miles per hour at sea level. Cruising speed of 164 miles an hour. Uh, intern climb raid roll, or I think that is, is 3,680 feet per minute. Surface altitude, so I presume that's the uh, highest it can go, is 33,200 feet. Range of uh, 1,430 miles with one drop tank um, we have the uh, width of the um, sorry the weight of the aircraft is 10,500 pounds or 15,000 pounds with normal load or 17,500 pounds with maximum payload so in other words probably extra drop tank and fuel on the aircraft and fully armed it would be 17,500 so we have the uh, wingspan is 50 feet and a quarter inches length is 39 feet 5 inches the height is 9 feet on the dot uh, and wingspan area is 400 400.33 square feet and we have the armament it consists of two 20 millimeter cannons in each wing, 400 rounds, three external bomb hard points so you can carry bombs as well, and torpedoes, rockets, or we can carry drop tanks. So here we have some black and white pictures. It's a tricycle landing gear aircraft. It's a bit weird looking. It has a bit of the uh, like gull wing shape as well. To it um, you can slowly see the uh, the uh, sky radar coming into it slowly you see this one here you can you can tell the sky radar tells it it's starting to change its tail slightly the front side to change so these are still the same pretty much aircraft but just Highly modified and changed. Now you can start to see this. Now you can definitely see the sky radar come into it before it, before it comes a complete sky radar. So this is the cockpit of one of these variants. So this is the early versions of the cockpit. Which is pretty cool. And now we have the uh, some of the early sky radars. Bombs, rockets, and etc. Fully loaded that up. Again, nice pictures. It's good read up. These book, these books are really good for uh, history and good read ups. That's why I'm doing these reviews for you to check them out and recommend you should get them for good reading, especially uh, with all this lockdown periods going through and. Um, COVID-19 and stuff, be, uh, 
being stuck indoors, it's good reading. So we have Jack of all trades. Um, now it comes the Sky Raider in service. So this is the actual proper Sky Raider that everyone knows. It pretty much was the workhorse of Vietnam. It did loads of loads of roles from, like I say, bombs, bombing missions, everything else, and just yeah, super, superb aircraft. It was a carrier base. It had folding wings. Um, I think I read somewhere, or it might even be in this book. I believe it was. Um, Managed to shoot down a jet, one of the MiGs or something. Um, so yeah, we have typical Sky Raiders now. This is all black and white still. Pretty cool. Well, some of the sky radios with nasty crash lands, especially this one here, lands on the carrier deck and bursts into flames. This one's during the career. Starting to get some colour pictures now, which is cool. So you can start using this as for reference material. You really can't use black and white too much because you can't really tell what colours are. You can do it for dioramas, but you can't really tell for weathering this off because the uh I'm not sure what colour it's gonna be. I bet that's quite strain on the wings actually you have all them bombs on there, especially folded up. Didn't think it could fold its wings with with uh, weapons attached. But <clears throat> here we go, some Colour pictures now again. This is pretty cool. We have this bit here. It's definitely uh, be shot up quite badly. Yes, I was right. This history here. If you just want, if I flick it up, if you want to uh, pause the video and read that, that's all about. It did manage to get a kill. I was right. It did kill it. Kill a Mig. Mig is known as a Mig killer. So I managed to pull pull it off. I think it was the only uh, piston aircraft ever to ever do a uh, jet kill. Back then. Napalm by looks of things. Pretty cool. Sorry about that guys, didn't mean to nudge the camera. Uh definitely when it starts up if you've ever seen the um Sky Raider start up it bellows smoke out like like a good one. See down here the um Ground crew painting up some of their weapons in crazy colours. There's a sky rider with the uh, looks like a jolly green giant. That one had a nasty uh, landing by looks of things. Looks like it's clipped the ground. Sky Raiders in South Vietnam service. So these are Vietnam service aircraft now. So this is pretty cool if you want to get your reference material for the Vietnam type ones or ones that served at Vietnam. There's, that's, there's only a couple. That's strange. I thought it would have been more than that. So let's go back again. Sorry, South Vietnamese. Now we have French uh, Sky Raiders. There's only one one page of that. 
Sky Raiders, Royal Navy, so Royal, Royal Air Force and Royal Navy use them now as well. The um, British uh, eyes of the uh, fleet. Pretty cool. So if you want to do British ones. And other operations, other countries. So then we go on to uh, your colour arts. So these ones are like the Vietnam ones and stuff, I think. Pretty cool. I like it in the camouflage. I'm not too keen on the grey ones. Blue one's okay. These are okay. These ones are quite striking with the orange. They would definitely stand out for sure. You've got a yellow one, it's pretty cool. French, Americans. Not sure who that country is. Then we go on to uh, people's work and uh, model kits that they've built. This one's a 148 to mere kit, one of the um, pretty good uh, Sky Ready kits out there, and they go a little bit of read up of how they go about it and problems they had and stuff. This chap, this guy here, the big dog, uh, is a trumpeter 132 scale. This one's a 148 scale monogram. Nicely done. Folded wings. And the same one, this one again is the uh, Tamir's 148 one. All the steps that they've gone through and how they've done it. This one's fully loaded. Pretty cool. I like, as I say, I like it in the uh, camouflage paint scheme. And we have uh, drawings of uh, instrument panels and cockpits and other sections. And we have the breakdown on hard points. On the aircraft, we have more drawings and info, guns, cockpit sections, canopy, the uh, cockpit mechanism for the canopy to open, like the hinge type piece. Then we have actual drawings, never a fan of drawings because you don't know how accurate they're going to be. Then we have the actual real aircraft, uh, weapon loadouts, so this is talking about all, all its type of weapons, bombs, these look like cannons of some sort. No, sorry, these are rocket rockets. And we have, what is this, this is a bomb, what type of bomb is that, does it say? Doesn't say what that bomb is, hasn't got no description for that, but these ones are carrying more rockets and stuff. LAU-59 rockets is the name of them, pretty cool. Long range fuel tank picture, it's pretty cool in black and white. Using the Sky Raiders there as a refuel on the aircraft. Carrying these giant fuel tanks on the bottom as a uh, refueler. Walk around now, these aircraft are in museums or ones that are flying. I think these are flying examples because they are weathered up and stuff. So again, this is pretty cool. You can use this for reference material for weathering your 
Rob Tankell badly beaten these are up. The wing fold, which is pretty cool. It's got the um, chrome, uh, the green chrome zinc mate colour inside, which is obviously is probably standard. We have the tail, the other side of the wing fold, these are hard points, tail dragger wheel. These are parts of the main main landing gear and stuff. And then we go into cockpit detail. You can uh, use this for reference material of how you want to do your cockpits. This is the A1H Sky Raider cockpit. So we have to side the consoles. Again, probably the, the mimic this. It's all painted all the uh, typical black or dark grey. A little bit of dry brushing and uh, grey wash. It can pr it pretty much mimics this. It's a uh, very dark and uh, I don't know hot, not horrible, but just dark and grimy and not so pleasant copy. I don't think it's a bit bit dark and stuff. And we have the A E A one E Sky Raider, which is in white. Again, wing fold, side, exhaust, landing gear, propeller or prop. Pretty cool. We have the landing gear. In, inside wheel bay, which is pretty basic actually. The uh, arrestor hook. We have an RAF version now. AEW Mark One. Massive extra fuel tank. It's in the, in the uh, navy blue. For the fleet air arm. This one's this is at the uh, air base Yoverton, which is just up the road from me, which is pretty cool. They have air shows number of years all the time. Their air shows are pretty good. It's all naval aircraft and stuff. It's a naval naval base. And we have more courses and stuff, more breakdowns. And then we go on to the back of the book we have Sky Raiders serials. So I'll take it that's all the uh, serial numbers for the aircraft. And then we have uh, model kits that are available that are out at current time of this book being released. Obviously, there'll probably be more manufacturers. So Hassa did a 170 second scale and a 148. Tallery did 148. Monogram did a 170 second. Mini Wings did a 144 scale, Ravel did a 170 second, Ravel Monogram did a 148, Special Hobby did a 170 second, Tamir does a 148, Trumpeter does a 132 scale, Zukamori does a 132 scale. We have several manufacturers doing decals, Eagle Strike decals. Can't read some of those names. Accessories, accessories like aftermarket products like Bezin and Fedowich. So we have Aries, do 170 second stuff, um, 148, 172nd, which is this is what you can see for the Aries. So it's cockpit detail. They do Fedowich. From Airways, CMK does 148 stuff and 172nd stuff. Edward do do the photo which stuff for most most of the kits. What we have over here, this is other manufacturers. Boost they do resin products. I've used Boost stuff in the past. It's pretty cool. 
Wolfpack do products and kits. I've, I've, I've used their stuff as well in the past. It's good, good stuff. So we have index now of the book. So yeah, it's pretty cool. As I say, uh, I recommend you check these books out for info on um, Sky Raiders and stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you later.